if they kids and parents, are your child having a hard time in reading comprehension or do you yourself have a hard time dealing with it? We will be talking about the basic things of reading comprehension with our new Jervis video. So let us now go with my computer and start learning. Hi again kids and parents. So right now we are now on our computer and we will now discuss um, a story that tackles reading comprehension. So let us now continue and now I'm gonna share my screen. So again, good day everyone. This is a reading video tutorial for grade 1. I am Sir Jibel Caleb Mastilo, your facilitator for today's discussion. <laughs> So, what are our learning objectives for today's discussion? First one is your kid or you yourself could able to recognize the names in the story, recall the events in the story, and identify the characters in the story. Is it clear? Good job. So, let's now move on. So, with our discussion, I need you to remind things in order for you to have a better reading comprehension. So now I'm listing down the things to remind when you are reading. So the important thing is always take down notes. So if you have papers and pen on your side, it is important that you have those uh, things on your side because you need to take down things whenever we are to reading um, tests or reading comprehension or when you are just simply reading. With that, could able to have a com better comprehension towards the things that you are reading. Is it clear? <laughs> Good job. Anyway, let's now move on. So what are the things that you need to take down notes? The first one is you need to identify and take down notes the main characters of the story. So the usual main characters in the story is names of person or people. Like for example, Mike, Sarah, Jennifer, Jose. So, by um, identifying those main characters, you, you could have a better understanding on what is the flow of the story. The next thing that you need to consider is identify the main points of the story. So, we will have a better clarification and deeper understanding on the second part for the second things that you need to remind while discussing or while having a reading comprehension. So let's move on to the third one, which is try to connect it to your life. We need to connect the story in our life in order for us to have a relatable context to it. And if we are able to relate our story or the reading material on ourselves, we could have a better understanding towards it. Is it clear? Okay, good job. Now, let's now move on with one example of reading comprehension. <laughs> the title of our story is The Cake. It is Jill's birthday. Jill's favorite part of her birthday is cake. Jill loves cake. Jill's mother made her a big pink cake with cherries on top. Jill's friends came over for a party and shared the cake. So as you can see, I highlighted different parts of, of the story because as I said a while ago, we need to um we need to take down notes in order for us to have a deeper understanding with the context. So like this one I I highlighted Jill's birthday. So we so that we could be able to understand that it's Jill's birthday. The next thing is I also highlighted the favorite part of her birthday is the cake. So we can relate that, oh, okay, it is her favorite part. Next, the next thing is Jill's mother made her a big pink cake. So with that, we could now understand who made the cake. So it is Jill's mother. And what color of the cake? It is pink. And then the next thing I also highlighted is Jill's friend. Why? Because Jill's friend is the one who shared the cake. So with that, we are now able to identify the main characters of the story. We are now also able to identify what's the context of the story, which is it's Jill's birthday. And the next thing, if we relate that this um, story to our life, is like 
whenever we are celebrating, whenever I celebrating, I also want cake on my birthday party. Okay? So, without further ado, let's now have such an exercise with the story if you are able to comprehend well with the cake's birthday or just birthday. I prepared three example questions on the story, which is, what is the name of the celebrant who made the cake and to whom they shared the cake? So, in every question, I will only give five seconds in order for you to answer our our questions. And if you think that you need more time to answer the question, just simply pause the video and if you now able if you now have the answer, kindly play it. So now, what for on our first question, what is the name of the celebrant? And the answer is Jill. Since as a while ago, it was mentioned that the birthday celebrant is Jill. Now, who made the cake? Who made the cake? Hmm, you are right. It is Jill's mother. To whom they shared the cake. Hmm. Hmm. You are right. It is Jill's friend. I guess you are now prepared. But let's have another example before we discuss and we have a bigger exercises with our reading comprehension. Are you excited? Because I am excited. <laughs> The next one is the park. There is a nice park in town. There is a bench in the park. There is a fountain in the park. There are trees in the park. Mike likes to bike in the park. Frank likes to run in the park. Kim likes to picnic in the park. Everyone loves the park. <laughs> so on this example, I want you now to find who are the main characters in the story. Hmm. Who are the person that was mentioned in the story? Hmm. You are right. The first person that was mentioned in the story is Mike. And Mike likes what? Hmm. You are right. Mike likes to bike in the park. How about the second person mentioned in the story? You are right. It is Frank. And Frank likes to run. And the last person that was mentioned in the story is who? You are right. It is Kim. And Kim likes to do picnic in the park. And aside from that, we are now able to identify what is the main context of the story, which is the park. How everyone loves the park. And what is the future of the park? And if we now relate it to our life, we are usually um, playing on the park and we are also having a um, good time with our family and friends whenever we are on the park. Now, let's move on with the questions. Just like um, before, I'll give, only give five seconds if you need more time then just pause the video and play it whenever you are ready. Who likes to run in the park? Hmm, you are right, it is Frank. How about who likes to bike in the park? Hmm. Hmm. You are right. The person who likes to bike in the park is Mike. How about who likes to picnic in the park? Hmm. You are right. The person who likes to picnic in the park is Kim. I guess you should now congratulate yourself because you are now ready with our exercises. Now, let's move on. The coconut. 
Many animals live on the island. All the animals like the coconuts. The monkey plays with the coconuts. The monkeys and the elephants both break the hawks and eat its sweet meat. The parrot perch on the ca- coconuts. The crab sips on the coconuts. And they are all nuts for coconuts. So, I'll, I'll give you one minute or to finish the story to take down notes of the character, the main uh, concept of the story, and how can you relate it on yourself. And if you think you need more time, just kindly pause the video and play it when you are ready. <laughs> so I guess you are now ready with our with the question. So let's now move on. Who sips the coconut milk? Hmm. Uh, who sips the coconut milk? You are right, the crab. How about who plays with the coconut? Hmm. Hmm. Who plays with the coconut? <laughs> you are right, it is the monkey. How about who perched the coconut? Hmm. You are right, it is the parrot. Who breaks and eat the coconut? Hmm. You are right, it is the elephant and the monkey. I hope you are able to perfect the four questions. And if not, it is still okay because nobody's perfect. The next story is the rock. Let me rock a band, said Beth. Great, said the rock. I can play the drums. He hit the drums. Kim smiled. I will play the guitar. Strum, strum. Jim picked up the keyboard and he pushed the keys. Cool. I will play this. Ding, ding, dong. Bill started to sing. La, 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 la. Beth looked around. What should I play? She dug in the box. She pulled out a big bell. Look, a cowbell. Bang, bang. Ball. Let's rock. Then they played and sang all night long. <laughs> After finished reading, let's now move on with the questions. Alright, since we are now already finished reading the story, we will now move on with the question. Who will play the guitar? Hmm. Hmm. Who will play the guitar? <laughs> it's Kim. How about who will play the drum? You are right. The person who will play the drum is Rob. How about who will play the cowbell? Who will play the cowbell? You are right, it is bad. How about who will sing the band? <laughs> the person who will sing the band like la 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 <laughs> is Bill. Now, let's move on. Alright, since you are now great and powerful when it comes to reading comprehension, I guess it is now time to have an assignment. So our assignment is The Rhyme Game by Guy Bellerian. Bella and Jane sat on the grass. Let's play the rhyme game, Bella said. First, you say a word, then I will say a word that rhymes. James nodded. Truck, he said. Duck, Bella rhymed. House, James said. Mouse, Bella rhymed. Dog, James said. Frog. Bella rhymed. Can I do the rhyming now? James asked. Yes, Bella said. 
dress James Wright. Bella laughed. Wait, yes, was it my word? Here it is now. Cow, James Wright. No, Bella said. Laughing harder. No, 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 no. Go, James Wright. Go, go, go. Bella laughed so hard. She rolled on the grass. James rolled next to her. Rhyming was fun. Here's the questions. Where does the story take place? Whose idea was it to play the rhyme game? What word did Bella rhyme with dog? Why did Bella keep laughing at James rhyme? <laughs> Alright, we are now done with our discussion. I hope you learned from our video. And, I, and before we end our discussion, it is important that you keep in mind that keep smiling because you are worth living. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.